Hi, I'm Steve from Brompton Technology and today we're going to be looking at Tessera 2.1. Those of you that have already upgraded to version 2 of our software will be taking advantage of the new user interface and also the fact that you don't have to specify your panels before you start a show. The new features on 2.1 include quick association, closed loop redundancy for the SX40 and custom input resolutions. So let's start by taking a look at quick association. With quick association, the process of associating your panels to the canvas has been simplified. When clicking the add from network button, each string of panels associated with your processor will display an identifying colour as previously, but with a number in the first tile of each string. Simply enter this number into the processor using your keyboard and draw it onto your canvas. The new redundancy features of the SX40 allow you to connect two XD units to port A and B and C and D of your processor to create a closed loop. If there is a fault with your string connected to the XD, the redundancy features activate and your panels continue to work. This has a latency of one frame, which is almost unnoticeable to the human eye. Let's take a look. This also works for individual ports on your XD units. If there was a communication problem on your string, the second XD would take over on that port. Dynamic input resolutions allow the user to specify any canvas resolution according to the following rules. First, the total size must contain a maximum of 8.8 .8 million pixels. The processor will display an error message if this limit has been reached. The minimum number of pixels per side is 720, and the maximum can't go over 4095 for the height, or 4094 in the case of the width, as the width value must be even. It is important to test that this resolution works in a non-production environment first. This feature is useful to allow the user to get the maximum efficiency from their canvas. Please take into consideration that when using custom input resolutions, the processor will automatically disable the scaler, so please ensure that your content is mapped one to one. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for updates on Brompton technology, for training and product information. If you need to get in contact with us, our website is www.bromptontech.com. Thanks for watching.